well hello and if you listen maybe not even carefully but I'm sure you can hear can you hear that sound that is my dad upstairs currently drying plaster on our bathroom wall and let me tell you why because we have got a new like towel rail radiator thing like our old radiator was old and knackered and just looked bad so we needed something new in there and today I went out and purchased a nice new shiny chrome towel rail and it looks good but we took the old radiator off the wall there was a big a big hole in the wall like it's like they punched a hole in the wall and then just put the pipes through it wasn't neat at all so hence the plaster work so we're fixing all that up or rather my dad is I'm I'm here for moral support and tea um, fixing that up then I'm gonna paint it and we're gonna attach the towel rail to the wall that's the plan let's go join my dad It is ridiculously handy to have a dad like mine when it comes to home improvements and DIY. It's so useful. It saves you a lot of money and a lot of time. So here's the new towel radiator that we're currently working with. I say we, I mean my dad. Um, he's, he's just trying to measure up where the perfect midpoint is for it. Look, he's got a little spirit level there. His pencil. Now that We'll go there, that's the plan. So you can see this mark here, that marks the centre point between the toilet roll holder bit and this cabinet here. That's going to be the centre point of the radiator. But unfortunately down here this stupid little pipe hole thing, it's off centre. It's, it, makes it, it makes it unbalanced. But it's okay, we're going to fix it, it's going to look good. Here's the current mess situation. I didn't realise we'd need so much stuff to, to fit a towel rail, but, but we do. We've also got protrusions going on now. Look at that, there's uh, this pencil on the wall. Lauren would go mad if she was here. But she's not here, so it's fine. And what pow! Just like that, much time has passed. And the radiator, the, the towel rail, it's finally up and on and everything. But there's a reason I didn't vlog all that much after the last clip. Let me tell you why. Oh, so I suppose I could start off by showing you the actual towel rail itself in its final form? In its final home. This is where it's going to live, obviously. It's all done, it's all in. It's looking good. If I, if I don't say so myself. Mind you, I can't take much credit. My dad did a lot of this. As usual, my dad is the handyman of the century. So, uh, anyway, yeah, back to the, the problem as to why I didn't vlog the rest of the installation of this. So, down here you will notice one valve, two valves. This lets the water in and out of the actual towel rail itself. Now, when we put this valve on, Everything worked perfectly. It fit on fine. When we tried to pressurise the whole thing, it worked fine. No leaks, nothing. This one was the perfect, perfect valve ever. This one though, this one was a different story. As soon as we start to pressurise it, sprung a leak, start dripping. Um, and not just a little bit, that like it could have been incidental water. No, it dripped a lot. It dripped a lot, a lot. So we had to get a bowl and put it underneath it to capture all of the dripping water. And then we had to turn all the water back off again. We had to drain the radiator. We had to, um, what else did we have to do? We had to take the radiator off completely because this bit was really loose. So my dad had to flip the radiator upside down, fix it that way, put it all back on, fasten it all to the wall, put the pipes back on, um, and then we repressured it again. The same thing happened. The same thing happened again. It was a pain in the ass. So 
we redid the whole thing. We turned off the water again, we drained the radiator again, we took everything off again. After much swearing and shouting and deliberating and getting angry at this, this here valve right here, we finally got it to fit right and it's not dripped since. So had it not been for this valve, the whole job would have taken maybe an hour, two hours maybe, max. But because of that valve, it took a full day, five hours. Five hours we were at this. Good times. And then if we follow the actual pipes along here, you'll notice that there's a, a rather grim looking hole. Ha, huh, that's what she said. Um, well, this hole was about 15 times bigger than this. Originally, I mean, I realize it doesn't look great now, but it looks a thousand times better than it did. Uh, we had to put some wood behind it. We had to put some uh, polyfiller all in it. So we did a good job. Like you can't tell that there was a huge hole here. And, and this is hidden. When you stand up and you look at the radiator, you can't see this is here. So it's, it's very well hidden. But here's, here's the offending thing. I'm just checking it to make, oh, there's a little bit of wetness. That might be okay, that, that could just be. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Thank God. So yeah, anyway, that's the story of the towel rail. Uh, there's still, it's not completely done. It needs a bit of a clean and a wipe down and a polish up so it looks good. And also the wall behind it needs another coat of paint, but it's okay because it stands far enough off the wall that I can just like get a roller in there or a paintbrush or something like that so I can paint the wall behind it. But other than that, it makes a difference to have an actual tower rail in here as opposed to an old man kit, falling apart radiator that came with the house. So, home improvements for the win. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. So, I'll see you guys next time.